Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Mr. Leo Laporte, and he has the brand new Amazon Fire TV. Oh. I didn't want to order this, Shannon, because... Why not? Well, I got about 100 different devices that I can use to watch Netflix and Amazon streaming and Hulu Plus. It's on my... That's how I feel. Right. I have my Roku 3 and it does perfectly. Right. So why do I want the Amazon Fire TV? It, in fact, if you look at it, it's about the size and almost the look of a Apple TV. A little bit bigger. Square corners. We don't do rounded corners here. They're <laughs> trademarked or something. Uh, it comes with a remote control. It is exactly the same price as an Apple TV. Uh, $99. Has an HDMI cable on the back. Optical out. That's nice. I like that feature. That is nice. It also has an Ethernet jack, but it has built-in Wi-Fi. That's what we're going to use here today. And a USB port. They're not... I don't think they've said what I can do with that USB port yet. Ooh. It is running Android. Amazon didn't say specifically, but we we're, we know it's Android, and it's the Amazon Android store yeah. and all that. Um, and it, it, for an additional... You get the remote, but for an additional $40, you can also get a... <laughs> looks like a pancaked <laughs> Xbox controller. It has all the same... Not a bad price for a controller. No, and it has all the same um, buttons as an Xbox controller. With a few extras. See, here's a play, rewind, fast forward. That's appropriate because you can use this instead of the remote control. That's so cool. it does everything the remote control does. Uh, very much like a PlayStation 4, an Xbox controller, it binds to the uh, device and uh, since there are four lights here i'm going to assume that you can attach up to four controllers Ooh. that is the big difference uh, on the fire tv amazon really promoted the fact that it'll play games so it is a tv streamer with some more games. than just angry birds i'm assuming well yeah roku <laughs> 3 will play angry birds but right. not very well yeah <laughs> um traditionally these uh, set top boxes don't have a lot of horsepower and so playing games is difficult this one is a, a quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 600. We found that out from my oh, fix it that tore it down. That's um, it has a, a, a dedicated GPU. So actually, gaming is pretty reasonable on here. You're going to play the same, same kind of games you play on your mobile phone. In fact, that's why Amazon can do this. It's essentially last year's smartphone. Okay. With that, last year's processor uh, has two gigs of RAM. That's unusual in a smartphone. That does help the speed a little bit. Yeah. And you know what? I like it a lot. The interface is great. The big thing Amazon uh, touts is the voice search. Now let me show you a little bit yeah, about how. I was how, wondering about that. Yeah, how that works. You saw Gary Busey saying, "I talk to my TV; it never talks back." <laughs> now it does. What would you like me to give me a TV show or anything you want me to search uh, for? Ooh, TV show. Um, let's do Dexter. Dexter. So it's like Siri. You press and hold the button; it listens. The search has been excellent. I haven't had any trouble. But I'm going to point out something. Dexter it happened. Found Dexter. It did. It happens to be on Netflix, right? Right. But yeah. it doesn't know it's on Netflix. So this is not universal Ooh. search. What it's going to do is it's going to give me the Amazon streaming version of Dexter. Ah, no. See, I would love it if we had a box like this that could search everything. Wouldn't you like universal uh, uh, that would search? That's so cool. I don't think I blame Amazon for this. A number of people have noted this and said, oh, it favors the Amazon uh, store. It doesn't mention Netflix. I don't see that as a problem. I think it's more likely that Netflix didn't give them the information. You'd have to give them your the whole rights, database, some kind right? Of code, right. Uh, and the ability to search it, and they have to keep it up to date. And remember, it's it's it, if it were going to search, it would have to search not not just Netflix, but also Hulu Plus. Um, I bought Minecraft. Now, <laughs> notice it's not the full Minecraft. It's the mobile Minecraft, the pocket edition. That's okay. because this is an, think of this as an Android device. In fact, you can use your Kindle Fire a, a tablet as a second screen for this. It, it really is almost a Kindle Fire in a, in a box. That's Here's a bad. game that uh, is from the Amazon Game Studios. That's the other thing they kind of touted is that we, they were going to do their own game development. This is called Sev Zero. It's kind of a mix of a Halo. Oh, and I have to do this with a with the uh, control or I don't have. Do you have to do that every time you connect to a game? No, in fact, I don't, I don't even have to use the remote. I can use the controller, but you see how quickly it connected. It's very instantaneous. So this is a little bit of Halo, a little bit of tower defense. Um, I think what you're going to see is that all of these games are are Android style mobile right. casual games. Um, Not you, crazy graphics. Well, you know what? I can, you know what? Let me go back to Asphalt 8 because that'll give you maybe a better idea of what the the graphics can do. That's okay. the racing game that everybody shows off. Uh, Asphalt 8 is um, is, a, is a pretty nice mobile game. Uh, by the way, notice I'm now still holding the controller but able to navigate this just as I would with the regular 
uh, video device. Let's go into That's games cool. here. Here's my game library. Oh, you you like Pinball HD. We I should, do like Pinball. We should play that a little bit later on. There's Sonic. <laughs> Here's Asphalt 8. So uh, pros and cons on this. You know, it is a Me Too device, but it has some nice features. It, it's fast. In fact, it's faster than the Apple TV because they've put uh, a fast uh, quad-core processor mm -hmm. in it, a graphics uh, card dedicated, and uh, for two gigs of RAM. So it's fairly fast. Uh, it plays games, and that's kind of nice. Although if you have, as your media streamer, an Xbox One, for instance, yes, it'll play games too. It has the voice control. The voice search is quite good. It just searches, uh, well, I'll sh it searches Amazon. I'll search what's on the uh, system as well. Okay. So it'll it'll find more than just uh, stuff on the Amazon library. Um, and I like that. It's a good, it's a good remote. Uh, it's a, a, a decent controller, very Xbox-like. You see, the, the graphics are okay. It's not. Uh, not bad. It does 1080p playback, um, which is uh, is good for the video. And uh, I'm not sure whether the games are 1080p or not. But whoa! Watch out! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm not. Oh. Oh. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. So what about on the con side? Uh, the con side, um, it's an. <laughs> We've seen this all it's before, and one. you may very well already have a Roku or an Apple TV or yeah. an Xbox or a PlayStation. Your TV may do most of the functionality of this. There's a big con on this, which it doesn't have any HBO Go. Oh. So it does have Showtime, but no HBO Go. I imagine additional uh, applications will be added to this. This is really an app store. There is, in fact, an app store. So uh, it may be HBO hasn't made the deal yet with Amazon. Maybe that's coming uh, Man, later. I hope they do. It's a little bit of a missing the more thing. more the better. There's another big surprising miss on this. Amazon's own music is not here. Really? They have a really great system. I've uploaded all my music to Amazon Music. Yeah. I can buy MP3s. This, this, what? I was, <laughs> I was shaking. Maybe they left it in the box. I couldn't. What? No Amazon Music on this thing? This is an Amazon product. Uh, I actually like it a lot. I'm going to give it a buy if you don't already have 20 other things that do exactly <laughs> the same thing. But this is very capable. What it really does is it puts Amazon at parity with everybody else. Right. Uh, we're waiting to see what Google's going to do with their Android TV. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, Google's got Chromecast. Apple's got Apple TV. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's got something, and, and now Amazon's one of them. But, uh, you know, if you don't already have something like this, if your smart TV is not capable, it certainly does everything it said it would do. It does have an app store, which means you'll be able to buy more stuff to put on it. I love it because it's from Amazon. I didn't have to configure any of my Amazon stuff. It yes, arrived cool. knowing that I was Leo, and it said, hey, Leo. So that was very nice. So I, I like that part. Yeah, I would give it a buy. It, they've done a nice job. There's nothing wrong with it. Just missing HBO Go and Amazon Music. And cool. That's about it. It's not bad. I, well, I you know, have to say, if nice. I didn't have a Roku, well, that's I'd, the point. I'd think about it. But I currently am in yeah. the Roku environment, so I'm going to stick with it. it Amazon's moment. so late to the game that pretty much everybody who was going to buy something like this already right. has this. And now all TVs come with stuff. This is better than anything on any TV I've seen, though. So I, I like, like it. the voice. The voice yeah. is unique. The voice what, is cool. I'm I'll glad that it's responsive. Oh, it's very fast. <laughs> Let me search for something else. Twit. Now, it'd be great if it had a Twit application in here, but... For some reason, it gives me Monty <laughs> Python's Flying Circus. So. Well, I, I think that's rather close, <laughs> but it could do a little better. <laughs> well, thank you, Leo. Sure, anytime. Very cool.